Chris Bates from Grower Talks Magazine. I'm Bill Calkins from Tech On Demand. And I'm Jen Zerko with Grower Talks Magazine. And Jen Zerko is for the first time ever in front of the camera. Yes, that's right. Now that we have a professional videographer, yeah. Osvaldo Cuevas, we <laughs> don't need you anymore. That's you not need true. me for other things. <laughs> you always need me. Anyway, we are at the 2023 California Spring Trials here at uh, our starting point pretty much every year now, Pan American Seed Company in Ventura. California, uh, Santa Paula, California, actually. There were hotels over in Ventura, 20 minutes that way. And uh, there are about eight different or so, I've lost count, yep. uh, ball companies, ball divisions here. Except one is not a ball company, but a ball um, partner. A partner that we're going to be taking a look at in the series of videos that you'll be seeing. Uh, but we're going to start out with Pan American Seed because, after all, they're the host. Their, they are the host. Exactly. And they right. cut us lunch. Uh, that's an even better reason. Mm -hmm. That's right. First thing we're going to take a look at, you guys, why don't you head inside, look for some of those new varieties. We've got notes full of them. I'm going to take Oswaldo over here to talk about a, a concept on racks. Come on, Oswaldo. While they go ahead inside to look for new varieties, I've got a program I want to talk to you about, which is pretty cool. It's called So Fast, Grow Fast. The idea is you hit the uh, side of the, the peak of the season, about right now, April, and you find greenhouse space that's empty, you want something that will fill up your benches fast and then clear out even faster. The idea is they've selected varieties, I think they've got about 150 of them right now, that can finish in a quart or a gallon in 10 weeks or less. And that's from seed. Oswald would come around and show you some of the uh, examples of just what you can produce uh, with this program. Somebody likened it to one of those things where you see on the wall and it says, in case of emergency, break the glass. That's what this is all about here. It's so fast, grow fast. A program designed to fill your bench fast and clear it even faster. Begonias at Pan American Seed, they've got a lot of them, all interspecific hybrids. Starting with this introduction from last year, Hula, beautiful spreading habit, loads of flowers. The new one for this year is this red and white mixture. If there was a royal rumble of garden plants, I'm pretty sure Dragon Wing is walking away with the belt. It's one of the absolute best performers you can put in any garden. And new in the series this year is bronze leaf pink and bronze leaf red. In their megawatt series, nothing new, but they've got an important improvement to the red bronze leaf uh, for a deeper, richer bronze, and very importantly, no green off types popping out in your crop. And then in Baby Wing, which is sort of a small version of Dragon Wing, here is a new red bronze leaf. And what's really convenient about the way Pan American lays out this assortment is that they, they're all interspecific begonias. Like we said, Dragon Wing's been around a long time. The interspecific begonia market has exploded. But as you can tell from this display, each one has a different habit and a different use in the landscape containers, baskets, however you want to use them. From baby wing on the end, to the spreading type hula, to your landscape, large pot performer, the megawatts, and then my favorite of the whole assortment, dragon wings. When people think of Pan American Seed, one of the things they think about are wave petunias, their flagship brand, probably the most popular, one of the most popular plant brands. And they've got two new ones in their E3 Easy Wave series. So this one is now E3 Easy Wave Yellow, it was just regular Easy Wave Yellow, which they moved into E3. And E3 means, stands for early, efficient, and the evolution of Easy Wave. And they also have a new mix here that has the new yellow. And then uh, a rose morn, I think is what Lisa Lacey called it. That's only available in the mix. It's not available individually quite yet. And they also have a new upgrade in Easy Wave that Bill's gonna talk about. No, Jen, you gave me an easy one. I love it. 
Check this out. I really don't need to say much. Easy Wave Blue has been improved. It's got a denser habit. You can see my left hand, it's got color in the middle, all the way across that flat. This is the original over here, a little bit sparse. And it's also been improved to have a shorter day length. It's gonna bloom in about nine and a half hours versus uh, the 10 to 11 that the series traditionally had. Jen, again, thanks for giving me an easy one to talk about. Just as important as wave petunias are beacon impatience, the impatience downy mildew resistant impatience. One new color here you're looking at, this is beacon lipstick. And lipstick's an important color in impatience. That vivid pink is something that everybody wants, so it's nice to see that come to the line. They've also uh, added a mixture. You'll notice, or you'll know that their mixtures are named after lighthouses. This mixture you're looking at down here is called uh, Beacon Pearl Island Mixture. And Pearl Island Lighthouse is up in Nova Scotia. I didn't know that. And here's a cool little factoid for you. There's a variety in here that you can't get anyplace else, and that is this Blue Pearl. You've got to get the mixture to get the new Pearl, Blue Pearl Beacon but it probably means pretty soon it'll be coming out as a standalone color. Bill, why do you like premium sun coral candy? I like sun coleus in general, but with this one it has the serrated leaves, this really nice color that looks good in combos. It's short, it mounds, and they said it's the 11th member of the premium sun collection from Pan American Seed. And it's an All-America Selections winner. So you know it'll work. Bill, don't bother the pollinators. <laughs> They're trying to work here. They Thanks. just discovered one of the new varieties from Pan American Seed, Sweet Talk Kufia. Nature's natural hummingbird feeder. Mm, and who can blame them? Look at the size of the flowers on these. That one we're looking at is called Sweet Talk Red. Red. There's a pretty bicolor here called uh, Lavender Splash. And then and on the then end, we go down a little bit further. This one is called deep, deep pink. Pink. Now these are heat lovers, uh, which is awesome because we need good summertime plants. But they're also kind of aggressive. They right? are. So they what are. do you do to keep them a little bit more under control in the greenhouse and in the garden? Well, in the first plug stage, within three days of sowing, you got to hit them with about one part per million of Paclo there bonsai. Mm -hmm. And then again, after transplant. About a week after transplant, you're going to hit them with a little bit more PGR. Kind of depends on your region, what uh, what ratio you're doing that sure. at. North, south is going to be different. But in the end, you wind up with a beautiful uh, pollinator attracting plant with big flowers and beautiful color. That Sweet Talk F1 Kufia from Pan American Sea. It's nice. It's a nice plant. Now, don't bother the little bird. He's busy. Hey, Gen Z, what are a couple of things that go well together? Hmm, let's see. Mac and cheese, mm, peas, and, peas and carrots. Yeah, Bill? Grower talks and green profit. Oh, that's totally a good chill. answer. Chill, chill. But I'll tell you what really goes good together, especially when you're at Pan American Seed, it's Petunia and Calabracoa, which they have somehow magically put together in a the first seed pet coa. That's what you're looking at here with the new... Caliburst Yellow. It's the first of a pet coa collection series that I'm sure they're introducing. Now, Bill, what does the Calibracoa bring to the to the table? Well, the colors, I mean, the color range of Calibracoa is amazing. It's also not sticky, the foliage, and it bounces back pretty well after weather events. All right, and Gen Z, how about the petunia? Oh, well, petunia, you get early season performance and cold durability. That's right, so what we can expect to see with these Petcoas is a, a really, really um, interesting series. Lots and lots of colors, great weather performance, and it's from seed, so it should be uh, pretty if, uh, effective to grow cost-wise. No, now, there's a few things that won't do, though. You don't want to put it out in the ground, necessarily. Correct. Um, so it's not like a pro landscape product. Right, But it's as containers. far as combos and mixes, mm -hmm. it should be amazing. That's right. The Caliburst Yellow is so bright, I had to wear shades. <laughs> The tagline for Kitchen Minis is no garden, no problem, because it is a collection of tabletop vegetables. 
They started with tomatoes and peppers, and now a first for them is snacking cucumbers, a potted cucumber. This one is called Quick Snack, and it's a, for, it's a new category for them. The cool thing about this is it doesn't need insects to pollinate, so it'll produce fruit all on its own, and it grows four to five weeks from sow. And it's best harvested when the fruit is about, oh, uh, like three to four inches in length. So that's the new potted cucumber from Kitchen Minis. Um, hello, am I doing all the work as usual? Hello, boys and girls. I'm your fuzzy friend, Frizz. <laughs> you, missed your, you missed your calling, my young friend. <laughs> doing voiceovers for plants now, but he's correct. This is Fuzzy Fern Frizz, better known as good old fashioned asparagus sprangeri. But you know that sprangeri has been in short supply uh, of late, and that's because the folks maintaining the stock, well, gosh, they just weren't taking much care of it. It was so easy. But uh, they've, they've ran short of seed. What have they done about that, Bill? Well, according to Pan American, they've professionalized asparagus spring, spring rye seed, which is great because the germination used to be kind of sketchy, 55, 60%, mm -hmm. and now it's up to 80% or higher mm -hmm. of usable seed in a tray. In fact, they've shown a picture of a tray there of the old uh, the seed quality around. versus the new seed quality. That's right. It used to be you needed to put 10 or 12 seeds per cell. With the new genetics, the new breeding, just three. So higher germination, higher quality, professionalized asparagus spring rye. And it's the start of a whole collection called Fuzzy Friends. <laughs> <laughs>